This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hey guys, it's Amanda, what's up? I hope you all are having an amazing day today. I'm very excited to be sitting down and filming another thrift haul. If you have not yet watched my past come thrift with me's, definitely go watch those first or you're gonna spoil all the items I picked up in those videos. Okay. This video is pre-filmed, so currently I'm in Toronto in my bedroom filming, but when you're watching this, I'll be in Copenhagen. So this is my last thrift haul of everything before I moved away. In this haul, I actually have a lot of summary pieces that I'm really excited to share because I've really had to visualize and start thinking about what my summer style is gonna be. I also have some winter items, sweaters, everything. You know how it is at the thrift store, but make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed and let's get into it. I feel like I have to start with this item because it is so shocking to me. I just took it out of the wash and the stain that was on it completely came out. I didn't even buy this with an intention of being able to remove the stain. I was already thinking about how I was gonna work around it. I didn't even put stain remover on the stain and it fully came out, which is so surprising because the material is a terry cloth, which absorbs everything. The brand of this skirt is Diablis, Diablis. Okay. It's a black and white striped terry cloth skirt. It has these really long drawstrings. My initial vision was wearing this on the beach with a matching black and white striped bikini top, but I would also layer this over pants. I feel like there's so much you could do with this. I also love stripes so much. So as soon as I saw this, I was like, the stain is irrelevant, I'm buying it. And I got this for $2.99 because of the stain. The next piece is this Roxy hoodie. I am equally excited for this piece, to be honest. It's this black and gray sweater. It has this huge plunge v-neck. I feel like the only time that v-necks are acceptable is if it's a huge plunge. And with this, I'm definitely gonna be playing around with layering it so I don't mind that there's a v-neck. Also, added bonus when the v-neck turns into a hood, like it goes all the way back into the hood. I love that. And this is obviously by Roxy, so like point blank, period. I feel like everybody is kind of on a Roxy wave right now. Roxy is like the thrift store version of Diesel. I feel like in some ways they give off the same vibe, especially with knitwear. It has a really thick band on the bottom and then also on the sleeves, which I love so much. As I said in the Comfort With Me voiceover, I would have died if this was longer. It hits me like right at my hips, which is fine. It's not cropped. If it was cropped, I would not have bought it. Actually, unless it was like super cropped, that would have been a vibe. But if it was longer, I actually would have passed out. Roxy is definitely a brand I keep my eye out for every time I'm thrifting, specifically Roxy knitwear. And the fact that I found this is actually crazy. Like manifestation coming through. Okay, I'm like, I'm equally excited for this piece, five pieces in, but this vest is actually crazy. I never would have imagined finding a piece like this at the thrift store, but then again, it's like, where else would I have found this? Vintage TNA by Aritzia Vest. It has a TNA tag on the back. It's not cropped on me, but it's super tight. My favorite thing about this vest is the fact that the collar is all like poofy. I've never seen a vest with a collar like this. So it's cinched all the way around and it's full of down. It's so like compact and warm on your neck. You can fold it up from the back, but you can't really wear it like this because it's stitched at the front. You guys will see in the try on how this collar situation looks on. I think it's so cute. And I'm honestly really surprised that no brands currently are doing this. It also has pockets on the exterior, which are so nice. This one up top and then two on the side. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this just because it's so tight on me, which actually makes me wanna cry because I love this. I was fully finished at the thrift store going through all the things I was gonna buy, and then I did like one last walk through in the sweater section, and this was just randomly on the rack. And I was like, what? It's just a solid black vest, which I also don't have. So I feel like if anything, I'll wear it for a bit, like maybe all of next year, and then sell it depending if it still fits me next year. You can see from the tags that it's definitely old TNA and it's so worn too. The size is an extra, extra small. So definitely not my size. But as I said, I'm gonna make this work for as long as I can and then I'll sell it on my Depop. If you're not following me on Depop, it's 90 Monka. Same with my Instagram, TikTok, all my social medias. Next, I got this kilt. I would love to style this kilt just with that vest done up all the way because they're kind of both a faded out black. This kilt is crazy. Definitely one of my favorite thrift finds. Honestly, all of these thrift finds are pretty good. I'm like, this is my favorite. No, this is my favorite. I feel like this whole haul is full of 
things that will be wardrobe staples like all of these pieces I'm like yes I'm imagining so many outfits with them all and just them to become a part of my identity basically I have a couple kilts but they're all wool so if I'm not wearing tights underneath they're just not comfortable and if something's not comfortable I'm just never gonna wear it like genuinely this is almost like a lightweight cotton it's kind of see-through so you could just tell how flowy, comfortable it is. It also hits me mid-rise, which is so nice because kilts usually are super, super high-waisted or the ones I have have just gotten way too small on me, so I have to wear them like here. <laughs> also, all of my kilts are plaid. So this one is just a plain black. I know I'm gonna get so much wear out of this. There's so many ways to style just a simple black skirt and then having it be a kilt is just like a level up. Kilts usually hit just above your knee, which I love. That's my favorite length. For a skirt and I'm very excited. I think this was like $7.99. I washed all these pieces so they don't have the tag on them anymore but it was super cheap. I'm so happy I finally have a basic waffle knit to feature in a haul because I talk about waffle knit every single come thrift with me and then I never buy any of the shirts I talk about because I've been looking for the perfect waffle knit long sleeve and there's just so much selection that I'm like no this is definitely not the one. And then the last time I went thrifting I found this American Apparel black waffle knit it's like a henley so it has four buttons on the front it's just so cozy casual i'm gonna be wearing this just chilling at home i love wearing loose long sleeves i throw them on all the time with anything so i feel like i'll get a ton of wear out of this top it has this scoop hem on the front and back which i don't mind just because it's so long and that it does scrunch up a little bit at the bottom so it's not very obvious that it has that hem but if it starts to get annoying, I'm just going to cut it and have it be a raw hem straight across. We're taking a little break from the haul so I can talk to you guys about Squarespace and my personal experience using it. I am a fashion student, so a really big part of that is having a portfolio. Also, along with having the portfolio, actually updating it regularly, which is something that can be really hard to do if you're not using an easy to use platform. Squarespace is so easy to use. There's a huge variety of templates to choose from so if you are wanting to start up a portfolio or an online store it's all there for you all you have to do is plug in your information I also love that you can change the template whenever you want I find with using it for a portfolio depending on where my work is going and how it's changing it's nice to be able to switch up the layout of how I'm presenting it I also love that you can connect your social medias to your website or your portfolio so in my case, after people have viewed my work, they can then kind of see who I am, like put a face to that, and then contact me if they want to work together. Check out Squarespace for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, you can actually click the link in my description to get 10% off your first purchase on a website or a domain. I picked up this army kind of track jacket style sweater, and this is so funny because the last time I went thrifting, I was exchanging a bunch of stuff that didn't fit me and then picked up a bunch of these things that are new. And this was actually one of the things I exchanged because I needed to get like an extra $4 back to get the other thing. When you're exchanging at Value Village, it's very precise. Like the things that you're returning need to exactly match up to the things you're buying. Basically, I like panicked mid-exchange and I was like, yeah, I'll just exchange this. So I left the store. I'm literally walking to the subway to go home and I'm like, what did I just do? Why did I exchange that sweater i want that sweater and then i'm thinking about all the things that i bought and i'm like can i exchange one of those for that sweater but then i want all the things i bought so i'd have to just rebuy this when i already bought this so i was like okay man it's not that serious like you don't need it just keep going to the subway and i'm not joking my body just took over and was like nope and i walked back to my village and bought this sweater again i'm actually very happy that i picked it up again because I just wore this in my Q&A video. It's so comfortable. I know I'm going to wear it a ton in the summertime. The colors are obviously perfect. It's going to integrate with my wardrobe very nicely. With my tan Kipling side bag, it's going to be quite the vibe. Thank God my body took over when my mind was lacking. Next, I picked up this belt. I'm so happy that I'm finally kind of starting up a belt collection. I've been looking in the belt section every time I go thrifting and I've just not had any luck for like the past two years. I swear I've bought one belt, but the last time I went thrifting, I got that white Nike one that was in my last thrift haul, which I love, it's amazing. And then I just picked up this green one that has these G rings, which the belt kind of weaves through so you can make it as tight as you want literally me describing just what a belt does but definitely just gonna have this draped over whatever pants i'm wearing if i'm wearing like a cargo pant or my white jorts with this belt the army sweater my taupe side bag 
Are you done? I'm really excited to start wearing belts. I feel like they really level up an outfit. And if you can get them in colors that just integrate with your wardrobe, it's like, boom, just add it onto anything. Next, I picked up this huge American Eagle sweater. This is so funny to me, but also amazing. I know I'm gonna be wearing this so much. However, I don't think I can pack it with me to go away to Europe because it's so heavy. It literally weighs probably like five pounds. And imagine me backpacking with this in my backpack. Like that's gonna take up half the fucking backpack. It's this cream sweater with jumbo sized details. Like this zipper is huge and loud as fuck. It has this eagle embroidered on the side. The inside is also this green waffle knit, which is amazing. If you told me that I'd be thrifting an American Eagle sweater, I'd be like, you're joking. <laughs> no, I'm not. It gives off the same kind of vibe as uniform sweaters do. My vision with this is to wear a tiny little pleated mini skirt and then have it just peek out of this huge sweater. Only be wearing it zipped up like full track jacket. I'm just really on a zipped up all the way kick. It has some little distressing going on. Who knows, maybe I'll add some more distressing to it, make it more of a casual vibe. Okay, this is so funny, like me showing you an American Eagle sweater and now a Hollister tank top. But I did show this in my q and I kind of explained the same thing I'm gonna talk about right now. I honestly, in the summertime, just picture myself wearing ribbed tank tops like this, specifically in a navy, specifically from a Hollister, because they're so long that they kind of scrunch up at the bottom, and then with a really low-rise pair of jorts, white jorts, white Solomons, like, channeling early 2000s David Beckham. I also feel like navy is going to be my color for the summertime, so as soon as I saw this, I was like, are you dumb? I'm buying this. And I swear, my last come with me, I'm like, I need to buy Hollister before I buy Abercrombie if I'm going down that route. And I literally went thrifting the next time and then picked up a Hollister tank top. I think it was like $2.99. So I'm so hyped about this. If I could find a gray one exactly like this, I would die. It's just such a different vibe to wear a fitted tank top like this that's ribbed versus just like the white tank tops you get off of Amazon that are Hanes. They're just so much more flattering and pretty. I have so many visions with this. I know it's just a plain navy tank top, but the fact that it's Hollister too, like, I'm gonna be stepping out in this every day. Okay, I need to talk about these tank tops. I'm actually gonna take an intermission from the thrift clothes. I got these from Walmart when I was going to buy travel-sized bottles to bring my Philosophy Warm Cashmere body wash with me, but I was walking past the women's clothes and I saw these camo tank tops. They were $4 and I kind of got them to wear as just like chill lounge pajama vibe. But then also I'm like, I keep using the same example, but it's like my brain right now is blocked with this vision. Like all I can see is these white linen jorts and then simple tank tops. Like I'm not kidding. I just need to put it on my body so I can do it and then like know how good it is and then look forward to it for the summer because right now i've just been imagining it and i can't stop it has navy in it i don't know what it is i've been very drawn to navy this cool color palette and it's a size small i spent so long trying to find a small on the rack i swear there was like a hundred of these tank tops just in this colorway i also picked up a classic green camo i love that these tank tops also don't have any adjusters it's just very sleek this one was also $4 and it's a size extra small. Ideally, I wanted that one in an extra small, but I could not find it. When I was buying these tank tops, I'm like, okay, if I saw these on the rack at the thrift store, would I buy them? And I'm like, yes, I would. And they were $4, so I'm like, okay, I'm basically just gonna act like I'm at the thrift store, I'm buying them. And then from a thrift, I picked up this Under Armour gray tank top. This is honestly more for like running, working out, but it's also cute as fuck. I always look in the activewear section, kind of keeping an eye out for things I can wear to run there's never anything good. And this Under Armour tank top is it. It has the Under Armour logo just embroidered. When logos are embroidered rather than just screen printed on, like something just comes over me and I'm like, I need it. It has a racer back with this mesh panel and then the rest of it is just ribbed. It's pretty long. It's not tight like the other tank tops I just showed you. I feel like it probably is a bit looser, but who knows if it's tight, I'll literally be wearing this all the time. This next piece I'm actually giving to my friend. I just have not seen her yet. And one of my past come through with me is I found this sweater. 
I tried it on, did the whole thing, but I didn't buy it. And my friend Amuna messaged me and was like, how did you not buy this sweater for me? This is so her vibe. Like genuinely, I don't understand how I didn't make that connection when I was trying it on that this is like made for her. It's a size small, it's just Nike. I picked up this Kelly Green knit sweater. I actually returned the army sweater to get this sweater. And then when I was leaving, I was like, hello this sweater is originally from gap it's a size extra small so it's super tight fitting i love that there's nothing to it other than this knit and zipper and that the zipper has this tassel it's got some ribbing along the hood it's just so simple and it also has some exposed seams which just add to the texture i'm just honestly here for the color here for it all if it had thumb holes i literally would die but um yeah i'm just like channeling my lacoste tennis player ultra ego with this one i'm very excited to pull this out for the summer i feel like it's also a really good sweater to just bring to the beach or something when you know it's gonna get cold but it's not cold yet because it's not very big like i could literally fit this in a shoulder bag but honestly i've been on a kelly green kick my whole life like it's my favorite shade of green for sure i've owned so many clothing pieces in this exact shade i don't know what it is that just like draws me into it but when i saw this i was like yes also it has a double zipper so ugh, i just realized this is missing one of the tassels but it's okay that is everything i picked up this wasn't a crazy huge thrift haul but it definitely is pieces that i am like immediately integrating into my wardrobe and i'm gonna start wearing and never stop wearing you know hopefully it gave you some inspo of some things to look out for for the summertime when you're thrifting i'm like already ready it's january 20th <laughs> like girl chill. i will leave my come thrift with me's linked below if you want to see me thrift all of these pieces thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video peace